Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, negative 8 plus the square root of 5a minus 5 equals a negative 3. So, I want to get uh, a by itself, so my first step is actually adding the 8 to both sides here. Okay, I can only square both sides with square root if it's isolated. So I'm left with then the square root of 5a minus 5 inside of square root equals negative 3 plus 8, which is 5. I then square both sides of the equation, leaving me with 5a minus 5 on the left equals 5 squared, which is 25. A lot of 5s here. I then add a 5 to both sides leaving me with 5a equals 30. I then divide by 5 to get a by itself, and a equals 6. Okay? So now I need to check to see, check to see if that's a true answer. So I'm going to rewrite my, my uh, equation. Negative 8 plus the square root of 5a minus 5 inside the pre uh, square root here equals negative 3. I'm going to plug 6 in now, so I have negative 8 plus square root of 5 times 6 minus 5 equals negative 3. Well, 5 times 6 is 30, so negative 8 plus square root of 30 minus 5 that equals negative 3. 30 minus 5 is 25. So I have 25 in the square root. The square root of 25 is 5, so negative 8 plus 5 equals negative 3. And negative 8 plus 5 does, in fact, equal negative 3. So my left and right are equal. Fantastic. A equals 6 is my real answer here. Nothing was extraneous. So let's recap. We're given our equation here. Uh, negative 8 plus square root of 5, A minus 5, equals negative 3. I then added an 8 to both sides to isolate the square root. I then squared both sides to eliminate the square root, leaving me with 5, A minus 5, equals, and now at this point, 25, right? Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. 5 squared is 25. I added a 5 to both sides, leaving me with 5a equals 30. Divided by 5 to both sides, a was equal to 6. From there, I had a check. So I rewrote my equation and plugged 6 in for a. 5 times 6 was 30. I then subtract 30 minus 5 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Then negative 8 plus 5 was negative 3. That equals what was on the right side of my equation, which was negative 3. So therefore, I know that a equals 6 is correct, and it's not extraneous, so my final answer is A equals 6.